Hello everybody, welcome to the Boston Micro Soldering Channel. Uh, here we cycle through a few main repair industry topics, including best practices for business, general repairs on electronics, and of course board level repair work. Uh, this is our very first test of the YouTube setup, uh, so we're going to do just a quick video to check the audio levels and move on to a repair job later tonight. Uh, first thing I want to go over is, I've had a few friends ask me lately, why, uh, why do you buy from people on uh, offer up from uh, you know let go a lot of these sources where you don't really have as much buyer guarantee why not stick to something like eBay where it's uh, a little bit safer people know what they're doing buyers are a little bit more experienced um, and you know sometimes we buy a lot of these uh, broken devices so that we can fix them up and, and pay for things like uh, microphones and cameras for the video channel so first thing I want to read through <laughs> uh, in the I told you so category for a good friend of the channel is the offer up expert packaging tips, which uh, I got from their website. So if you are selling things on offer up and you want to send them to uh, people across the country, they give you that option. The shipping options are pretty cheap if slow, uh, but what the recommended uh, tips they have here are choose a plain sturdy box big enough for the item and padding. Keep the item from touching the outer box by using padding like crumpled newspaper, grocery bags, or bubble wrap. Number three, give the box a shake. Does the item move? If so, use more padding. Number four, make sure the box won't come open by sealing it with two inch wide tape. And number five, attach the label below uh, by taping down each edge with clear tape. Definitely good advice. <laughs> and so I present to you what we received in the mail yesterday. which is uh, coming to us from a seller in Florida who clearly did not read the instructions that are printed directly on the shipping label that he was given. <laughs> and inside here, we actually have an entire PlayStation 4 console uh, sent in for HDMI port repair, or at least uh, purchased with broken HDMI. Uh, this box didn't survive the journey too well. Uh, it looks like we've got maybe about 24 inches of duct tape total holding together um, a baby formula package of questionable cardboard integrity. Let's see if uh, this guy actually survived the journey. And if it did, uh, we're gonna work on an HDMI port tonight. We do have an entire console here. Thank God, no uh, broken off housing components with it. And with our package, we also get a 40% off coupon uh, for JCPenney portraits. The first worrying sign here is definitely the condition of the HDMI port, which looks absolutely perfect. It's never good when sell someone sells you something broken, and what you get looks factory new. That port is just a tiny bit bent along the bottom edge, but definitely no bent up pins, no breakage of the plastic interior. So we're going to open this guy up tonight, look for water damage, uh, check the HDMI codec IC, and with any luck, we've just got some broken HDMI pins on the, the board side of this. So thanks for tuning in to our first video, and we'll get to some actual repairs soon.